What's up, YouTube? This is uh, Matt, Knife Crazy. Got a uh, quick KME video for you today. I get a lot of questions, and you see a lot of, uh, not just to me, but just to the group, uh, another shout out for uh, Edge Snobs. It's on Facebook. It's a uh, knife sharpening group. They, they do all kind of knife sharpening. There's KME, Wicked Edge, Edge Pro, uh, hand sharpening, uh, Lansky, what, whatever, you know, anything. And you get a lot of questions, especially when uh, a lot of newer folks get the KME for the first time and they start sharpening. <clears throat> and you get a lot of the questions on there. And I just did this one just to kind of show you. They're talking about when they get the scratches on up on the knife, whether it's a black coated blade, DLC coated, whatever, or just plain satin, you can still see scratches on it. And they're wanting to know how they get in the scratches. There's two things that can be causing this. And that's what I wanted to go over today. So try to keep it short and sweet and to the point. So when you get your kit, you know, the, the basic kit now comes, starts with the 140 grit, which is already in my stone holder right here. All right. On a 140, it is possible for this to happen. Um, when you get new, new diamond stones on the one, I got the 50, the 100, and the 140 out here, because this is those coarse grips. They're going to get... I've used my 50 a lot, and so you're not getting a lot of the diamond stones off anymore. They're not gonna just fall off. But when you get them brand new, you got a lot of loose ones that's all over it that I definitely recommend you you uh, sharpening on something that's, you know, don't mean nothing to you. I mean, put a, a old butter knife in there or something and just run it up and down at some until it gets a lot of those, um, the little diamond rocks is what I'm gonna call them. That's that's kind of stuck on there, but they're not stuck real good. So they have a tendency to come off when you start sharpening them. So what's happening is, is you got your brand new stone in here, you put it in your uh, your stone holder, you put it on your clamp and you start going. And when you start sharpening it, the rocks tend to come off. And back there between the blade and the stone itself in between, some of them little rocks will get on there. That's what I'm gonna call them, little rocks. And as you're going up and down, those little rocks are puddling up here. And uh, I'll go over another thing in a minute is why I do sharpening dry only. I don't use oil or water for this reason. Is even a long time ago when I started out um, sharpening with the KME, um, I was getting some blades that was scratching. And that's back when I was using oil and water. So. You get your slurry back here when you're using oil and water and it's mixed in there with all the little diamond rocks, okay? And as you're going up and down, these little rocks are going up and down with your stone because they're collecting underneath there. So that's where you're getting your little scratch pattern from on your blade, okay? So as you see on that knife blade, if you're going up and down and there's one little, one little pebble back here that's just going up and down, up and down, that's gonna scratch your blade. So that's why if you're gonna use uh, water or oil, and especially when you got a new stone, you just about need to wipe it about every time you make a pass or two to get any possible slurry that's mixed with any kind of you know bigger stone. You know, your 600, your 300, 600, 1500 grit, they're so small, you're, you're not gonna have that problem. But the, the bigger stones on the newer ones are gonna come off, so it's gonna end up scratching your blade. So be careful with that. Um, I'm not telling you what to do. You can use the oil, you can use the water, you can do whatever you want to do. But I do not. I do it dry and I got great results. So take it for what it's worth on that. Um, just like I said, if you choose to use the oil or the uh, water, which I have done both, and you got new stones and you're using the, the, the 50 grit, the 100 grit, or the 140, and they're new, you better wipe it very often, put it that way, or you're going to get some scratches on that blade until they're wore out good. I mean, you know, they, it's very heavy grit, but there ain't no rocks coming off anymore on me. So I'm good with that. Um, the other thing that it calls the scratch pattern uh, happen on your blade is once you get good at it, you get your uh, that muscle memory, you know, where you can go back and forth and, and, and you're not worrying about dropping off or going too far and going up off the blade. So, but on a lot of the, the, the newer 
uh, people's getting a new kiss and they've never done the sharpening with it before. If you go too far up and you drop off the back of that stone and it goes up over that blade, you're gonna get scratches. So keep that in mind. If you go too far and it drops off that edge and that diamond scratches up on the side of that blade, you're gonna scratch your blade. So be careful. When you're coming down, it don't matter too much, but it depends on how, how much pressure you're putting on there, which you shouldn't be putting that much pressure on there. But when you drop off, you could come down and, and hit your rod there. So just be careful on the up and down, especially the up where you're gonna go too far and you're gonna scratch that blade. So just me showing you that, look at the scratches in the blade. This is an old beater burden I've had laying around in the garage, so I wanted to put it in there and show you. But, um, but that's what's causing that scratch. So new stones with the little rocks coming off, um, getting caught up underneath there with the slurry and stuff, that's causing it. And obviously going too far up and you're coming off that stone. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching. I'm almost at uh, 500 subscribers. I appreciate it very much. I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, so I see it a lot come up. Why am I getting scratches on my blade? And it's kind of hard to explain without kind of showing. So I just figure I'd make a quick video on showing it. All right, guys, y'all have a good day. Bye.